Hello everybody, Maple here. Uh, welcome to this different video on the YouTube side. Um, today we're just going to be looking at a quick tutorial on exactly how do you update your Magnet 787 to the most recent version. Uh, this tutorial also works with the XCraft, XCraft ERJ series and I'm going to assume it works with 727 as well um, as I know FlyJ Sim used the same software to update the 727s. Um, but either way, without further ado, let's quickly go ahead and see how you can do it so because if you download your magnet from the xplane.org store, the only the most recent version you can get at this time is a 1.7.0, but actually the magnet is a 1.7.4 currently. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do upgrade uh, your magnet uh, to uh, that point um, because clearly you cannot do it from the xplane store and magnet does not use x updater. updater. So the first thing you want to search up is the skunk skunk crafts updater um, I've got right here. Skunk crafts updater download and you will be directed to the xplane org um, storage click on that and um, it should be updater download page version 2.5 available so just click on that and you will see right here uh, the skunkcrafts uh, updater pop up so simply click on that go ahead and download it. it's gonna pop up for me I already have it downloaded um, but it's gonna quickly get you here and once you have it extract this folder right here onto your desktop uh, you can also I think you can select it and move it to your plugins folder on xplane so I'm gonna show you guys where that is it is right over here uh, so you have the xplane uh, folder and simply head to your resources and under plugins and drop it in right here you guys will see I have mine uh, right here there it is the skunk crafts updater so the my folder is right here and it's good to go once it's there once you know that it's there simply boot boot up your xplane so we're gonna pop onto xplane I already have that loaded up and load into any place so you could load up anywhere in any aircraft apart from the magnet I'm in the default Cessna 172 and I'm sitting at uh, K uh, Lima uniform uh, Lima and uh, you could loan the Zebo or anything it does not matter as long as it's not the magnet or the ERJ or, or any aircraft that you're updating via the updater if we come up here and go under our plugins you guys will see that the Skuncrafts updater is right here and it's ready to rock. So simply click on it and you will see right here actually we have our two planes popping up. So we have the ERJ that's ready to go, um, the Magnet and if you guys have the 727, uh, the 727 will be popping up as well. As you guys can see mine are already at the most recent version so my ERJ is 1.4.0, uh, my Magnet 1.7.0 but uh, most likely for most of you guys watching this video it will not be there so simply I'm not going to do that once again because I have my in um, upgrades installed simply click check for available updates I mean the rest of this uh, I don't think you need to touch the sceneries we're not gonna upgrade any sceneries with that um, here are my options um, in case the, these are all the default options but in case you guys are having trouble uh, identify only managed items enable audio audio feedback on startup none of that is ticked and the, the above section there's nothing so simply come over here click click on check available updates uh, once you've clicked on that, most likely your magnet will pop up and simply click on update and repair anything. And that should get you set up and then uh, your, your uh, section should look like this. And once you do that, then go ahead and load into the magnet and your magnet 787 will most likely show up as uh, still out of date. But if you reboot the sim, if, you, if we come over here, uh, we'll actually see that... Uh, if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, but right down here in tiny font, it says we are in version 1.7.4. Um, in file path, it will still say 1.7.0, but um, actually your airplane has been fully updated um, by the updater. So I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, we're going to keep it short here again. It does not take a long time. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'll be glad to answer any comments uh, or questions you guys have. Just leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys most likely in the next live stream.